right here where this valley comes out, there's a, a, a natural waterway, it's a dry riverbed, that is called a wadi, W-A-D-I. If you went into that wadi, you would find there are rocks all over the place, but they've all been pushed out of the way to make a path. Somebody pushed all the rocks out of the way to make a path for wagons, apparently. That dry riverbed, the wadi, ends up at that white dot, which you can barely see on from this satellite map. That white dot is actually this giant beach. Off to the right, you can see where that wadi comes into it, that dry riverbed. And at the bottom of that beach, way down there, which would be the south end, at the south end, Ron Wyatt found this pillar. It had fallen down, half in the water. He and his sons dragged it out, scrubbed it off. A lot of it was eroded, but part of it was still readable. And it basically said something to the effect of, this pillar was erected by King Solomon to commemorate the crossing of the Red Sea. So they went and did some research. Uh, the National Geophysical Data Center in Boulder, Colorado has a map showing the depth of the water. How deep is the water? Above this red arrow, you can see where it says the Elan Deep, or Elit Deep. It's nearly 5,000 feet deep. The Gulf of Aqaba is. Incredibly deep water. South of there is the Aragonese Deep, which again is nearly 5,000 feet deep. But right where that arrow is, there's a shallow place. It's only 900 feet deep which is still pretty deep. But 900 foot in eight or nine miles is a nice gentle slope down and a nice gentle slope up. Easy for wagons. There's an underwater land bridge right there. He says they walked across on dry ground, 900 foot wall of water on both sides. He went out to as deep as they could go, 100 feet or whatever, 150 feet with the scuba equipment, and found all along, as far as they could go, chariot wheels with no chariots attached to them. And chariot bodies crumbling badly, poorly conditioned, you know, with no wheels on them. They found horse skeletons and human skeletons crusted over with coral. The chariot wheels, you can see one here in this picture, it's kind of hard to see, but it's gold-plated wood, but the wood has rotted out. There's only one Egyptian dynasty that used four-spoke, six-spoke, and eight-spoke, all three types used in this one dynasty. And all three are found down there, or something like that. If you look at the far right, this arrow is pointing to a mountain in Saudi Arabia, called Jabal al-Laws, which means Mountain of Laws. It's been labeled that for centuries. Could Mount Sinai be in Arabia? Well, let's see what the Bible says. Galatians chapter 4. Which gendereth the bondage which is Agar, for this Agar is Mount Sinai in Arabia. Hello, it's been there all along, folks. <laughs> okay. Why have they been looking in the Sinai Peninsula? That's not where it is. This is a picture of the mountain that apparently is Mount Sinai. The top of it is still black. This may be the place where Moses got the Ten Commandments. At the bottom you can see an altar with a calf on it. This may be the altar that uh, Moses or Aaron set up. Okay. God told Moses to uh, stand upon the rock. He said, Thou shalt smite the rock, and water will come out that the people may drink. Of course, most Bible pictures will show a little stream of water coming out. How long would it take the water? Two million people plus their cows and sheep. Oh, it'll take a little while, wouldn't it? This Bible map or Bible picture shows a little bigger stream. Well, that's getting closer. Actually, this building is from a taken picture taken from a half mile away. This rock is as tall as a five-story building. It is split right down the middle. Ron says this is the place, this is the rock that's split in half. And water came pouring out. You can see erosion marks. It'd be, it'd be worth getting his video if you want to really study more on this, uh, called the Evidences video or Discoveries, I think it is, Ron Wyatt Discoveries. Really good. He also found some strange things like Sodom and Gomorrah. The Bible says brimstone came down. This is a picture of ash, solid ash cliffs. Apparently the city was burned so badly by these raining sulfur. Ron gave me, and I have right here behind the curtain, now some of the sulfur balls. I don't let many folks handle these because every time you handle it, some rubs off, okay? And then uh, eventually they'll be gone. I've had several friends, even some scoffers, who said, I don't think that's true. And they went over there to the place where Ron said they were, and they dug through the ash, and sure enough, there are literally millions of these sulfur balls. The outside is kind of a white. I know sulfur is yellow. I taught science, okay? Um, if you scrape off this white coating, it's pure yellow sulfur, 99.6% pure sulfur. You can smell it, for sure. Um, apparently, burning sulfur dripped on that city, or rained on the city, 
As the sulfur would burn itself out, it would encapsulate itself in its own ash and shut off its oxygen supply. It ends up with a coating around a pure sulfur ball. No, found no place in the world except this, this place over there. 